Well, we met at Georgetown. Mm -hmm. uh, she was there as a nursing student, and I was in the Foreign Service School. So we met, fell in love, and decided to uh, get married. So that was uh, where it all started. So, uh, and uh, what year was it? Dad? They just had a big anniversary. Nineteen forty-nine. They just and, had their sixtieth uh, anniversary. Wow! Two weeks ago. And, uh, and in the course of that marriage, we had uh, four children. Like so many things in life, there, uh, it always happens by accident. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd go back to the uh, kid's original uh, accident when she was paralyzed. And, they, uh, and the doctors uh, consulted with us in Hartford. They said, well, you know, uh, kids not going to be able to do anything in life that uh, she'll be uh, paralyzed from the neck down and therefore uh, I would, uh, they would suggest to me that we seek some uh, easier way of life that wouldn't involve pressure on, you know, trying to take care of Kit. First of all, they said uh, there's no uh, institution or public uh, facility that takes care of people like Kit. Quadriplegics. Eighty percent of the support for such individuals is always provided by the family. So if the family doesn't do it, there's no one else to do it. The only it's alternative it's is, is probably a nursing home. But uh, kids surprise us by uh, going back to work, going back to work <laughs> and deciding that uh, uh, she didn't like the quiet of uh, Cape Cod and preferred the activities of Washington. So that brings me back to. The uh, fact that when the doctors at Hartford told us that uh, if anybody was going to take care of a kid, it would have to be us. There was nobody else to, to step in and do it. And this is a, uh, a problem which uh, sort of gnawed at me for 28 years. At one point, I even just started calling, just down a list of every place that I could find uh, and just ha having them all tell me your parents can come here but you can't come here and at that point we realized this is going to be hard because I think without me uh, my parents situation will really I, I realized it, it was a very it was a three-legged stool we had going in our house where all three of us our lives were very much uh, intertwined and I realized that I was as much value to my parents as they were to me and that all three of our lives were really working because we were there together. To split that group up would really be detrimental to all three of us and uh, so when we talked about trying to find a place to go and we said maybe they would have to go somewhere else, we were really hesitant to, to do that if we didn't have to. Um, this was the only place that we called that told us that we could all come in. And they said it without hesitation and without a lot of, I thought for sure, it might be a sort of probationary kind of thing or we're not quite sure. They were very certain uh, and reassuring and um, encouraging to us when we came here. And they were the only, I probably called 30 places and was told every time no. And was also told, I don't know of any place else that were taken. Um, they, nobody had any suggestions or any guidance. Uh, something that's became quite obvious to me by living here is that, uh, and it is something that is never really emphasized by the uh, people who run these uh, facilities, is that it actually adds years to your life. That uh, the very fact that finally there was somebody to help share my duties with me and somebody to do the cooking and someone to do the cleaning up and someone to do the laundry and uh, uh, arrangements for uh, a, uh, a doctor to, to consult with the group here or with Kit. Transportation. Uh, transportation, back benefit. and forth, so appointments and all of that literally adds to one's life. I think uh, it was a good um, match in that my sister's background in theater and she's very well connected in the Washington area in terms of resources that she can draw upon. 
Um, she's brought in someone from the National Gallery of Art, and she'll be bringing in other um, performers and um, uh, people who, um, the Washington Revels, uh, perform, another performing group she brought in for uh, a, a country fair that we had about a month ago, and uh, just a different variety of things that I think speak more to the backgrounds of people uh, who are here at Brighton Gardens. Um, many of these people have traveled internationally for decades and have really varied um, and uh, int very interesting backgrounds. And I think, um, seem to me, we're very uh, thirsty for a, a, a different kind of uh, sort of activity schedule mm -hmm. and, and offerings like that. So that's how that. You can play bingo just so many times, you know, until <laughs> it starts to get to you. So we felt something that had to be done to provide a, a much more of a uh, type of activity that uh, the group had experienced in their lifetime. Yeah. Uh, my best advice would be go before you really think you have to go. Yeah. I think, because, I think uh, that's it. If you can afford it, and you can, uh, you know, if you have the financial means to do it with, uh, and uh, it, uh, it can be a very, or I, it has been for us a very enjoyable experience, and uh, it has uh, given us a lot more, a much, a much greater feeling of community than we had mm -hmm. living in a house in which we knew we didn't, we were no longer able to be in in communication with the.